This chick I knew in high school stalked me on Facebook and tracked me down to Cambodia to fulfill her childhood dream of getting plowed by me, which is a whole other fucked up story. We were taking a break between banging in her suite at the Foreign Correspondence Club, having a cocktail at the bar, and she tossed out a challenge. I have the best virginity story, she said. Oh yeah? I'll bet you I can beat it. What's the bet? Losers giving head next, I said. Okay, stud, here goes. My senior year of high school, I was dating Brandon Hall. Do you remember him? No, I don't think I ever saw him outside in the smoker's lounge, I said. Yeah, no, we were both on the debate team. I had told him how I had this fantasy of losing my virginity outside. I described it all in detail, and he set it up. He found this spot in a mido, brought a blanket and covered it with flowers, and took his time and gently deflowered me. It was magical. Wow, that sound like straight out of a magazine, I said. That's more romance novel. Mine was more porn. I was 17 and working at Waller's Hardware on 10th Street. Dina was a 27-year-old single mom running the cash register there. She was always flirting with me, asking me questions about my dick, how big it is, you know. Big enough, I always said, which is true. Anyhow, the store was closing down after the Home Depot opened, and she told me she was throwing a goodbye party, so of course I went. Turned out I was the only one there, and we talked for a while and ended up in her bedroom. She ran me through all of the positions, telling me to slow down to keep me going for over an hour and let me bust it raw dog. That's my story. First time, 10 year age difference. Single mom, no condom, acrobatic porn style. I think I win. That's statutory rape, she said. Oh geez, a victimless crime. I've always been fascinated by the stories of teachers banging their students. I never felt like the boys were victimized. In fact, I imagined that they were regularly high-fived for it. That's sick. Did you ever think that maybe she fucked you up? No, it's just biology. We're animals, and the female of the species peaks sexually in her late 20s, whereas the male of the species peaks around 18. I never thought of it as anything but a gift. I got a gift for you, she said. I still think mine's better, but I'll suck your dick anyway. All right, I said. The best head is one.